And uh, can we say something special about this work? Oh, this work is very well known. This is one of the masterpieces by Caravaggio uh, in his early years. Uh, this is a, a story, a great story for uh, the Borghese collection. And uh, so this is the story that should be told here because we are uh, talking about the collection more than um, about uh, artists or special artists like this one. So this came from uh, the workshop of Cavalier d'Arpino. Cavalier sì. d'Arpino was at that time uh, such a renowned artist and Caravaggio entered this workshop when he arrived to Rome because he was just a young painter among other young painters in Rome, uh, so no, he, he wanted to uh, enter the uh, artistic milieu in Rome. So he, he got acquainted with Cavalier d'Arpino and his brother, and apparently he left in this collection at least two masterpieces, this one and the sick Bacchus. And they entered the collection of Scipione Borghese in 1607, when um, the Pope, police, uh, just uh, asked the, the Cavalier d'Arpino to give his collection uh, to uh, the uh, Pope and the Pope gave it to the Cardinal nephew, to Scipione Borghese, uh, because uh, um, Cavalier d'Arpino was arrested. So it was ah. a dark side of the story and also a dark side of the uh, life of painters in this uh, um, moment in Rome. Um, but why was he arrested, uh, Because uh, it was, uh, uh, it is still unclear, but probably organized um, uh, the uh, he, he wanted, uh, he, he was, uh, uh, he aggressed another artist, oh, okay. uh, the uh, Pomarancho, because Pomarancho managed to uh, have, uh, to obtain a commission, and uh, so it was in the, <laughs> uh, I mean, yes, it was just a fight, but an today, fight. So today this painting is probably the icon of your museum, right? Yeah, it's one of the icons, and uh, it also um, tells us a lot of the life in Rome at the beginning of the 17th century. So um, the Pope, the Cardinal, the artist fighting, and also the beginning of the still life, because we uh, can't, uh, I mean, we, uh, we really uh, have to uh, uh, close, uh, have to have a closer look to this beautiful, beautiful, still life. But the, the boy is beautiful too. The boy is beautiful too, but you know, this is the invention of still life by Caravaggio because he managed to include the concept of time passing by. So time is ruining the perfect beauty of the objects of the single fruits, no? They are, uh, I mean, yellowing, and uh, it's something that is something It's a vanity. Is, uh, it's a sort of vanity, but uh, uh, it also the vanity is in this uh, uh, beauty of the boy. Uh, this Do we know who the boy is? No, we don't know. We had uh, so many interpretations of this uh, uh, painting being one of the most iconic, as you told, of our museum, but also of the production of the young Caravaggio. Girl. And the shadow is very special. Yes, the shadow is so special that uh, someone, I mean some scholars, uh, saw in the shadows a sort of wings of the, exactly. the, the uh, dark wings of the boy. Of the uh, bad I, boy. Yeah, but I think that this was just an invention by Caravaggio. He was really working hard at the beginnings and he probably didn't have any money, as his biographers told us. So he was working on his image in the mirror, or um, also he was uh, using the, the, um, uh, the, the friends or the people in his workshop to as models. So you really uh, feel here uh, the power of the invention by Caravaggio, but also uh, the life is life the, in his Roman days. But it's also about seduction. 
It's also bus. It could be a bus seduction. Yes, yeah, the way you not, look at uh, I mean, it, at the viewer in, in a science. Yes, offering. No, maybe uh, offering, yeah. but also the glance is very mm, special. Mm. Because uh, uh, I saw in it more this uh, uh, experimentation of a new type of painting. Because we should not forget that these were not usual in room. Mm. I mean, they are no portraits because you don't know the people inside. They are not simply still life because there is someone with the, the basket of fruit. So what's the, the uh, status of these paintings? It's something that was difficult for the time to understand, but also was very, um, was considered so original. But in Northern Europe, there was no still life already? Uh, there was not, I mean, the north of Europe, but also in the north of Italy, there was a, a, a production of still life, but uh, I mean, they were not so, uh, complicated by the idea of the uh, connection between the human figure and the uh, still life, the okay. representation of still life. And this is what was uh, called after a sort of drama in the still life, because it's uh, like it, as, uh, even the fruits are suffering. <laughs> <laughs> we are not suffering uh, visiting this show. Merci beaucoup. <laughs>